Hello friends, in this video we are going to talk about the comparison between NTSC and Pulsar still that means the comparison between the two color television standards. This comparison consists of various parameters and their values. So let's begin with the topic. We know that on the basis of the main supply frequency, the two different color standards are comes into the picture. The first which operates on the frequency of 50 Hz and second which operates on the frequency of 60 Hz. The, the standard which operates on the frequency of 50 Hz uses 25 frames per second, whereas the standard which operates a frequency of 60 Hz uses 30 frames per second. The basic difference between the NTSC and PAL system is nothing but their development. The NTSC system is designed in America, whereas PAL system is designed in Europe. Now let's find out the more difference between the two standards. The first real difference between the NTSC and PAL is nothing but the frames per second rate. In case of NTSC system, it is approximately equal to 30, but we, if we consider the actual value, then it is 29.97 and for PAL, it is 25 frames per second. Now in case of NTSC, it used to 30 frames per second or a single frame for every complete alteration of 60 hertz household outlet. That means if the power line frequency is of 60 hertz, then it uses 30 frames per second. The household in PAL region uses different types of current outlet with the different frequency. That means it uses a frequency of 50 hertz and therefore it provides 25 frames per second. Now, the another key difference or another difference between NTSC and PAL system is nothing but the number of resolution line used by each standard. In case of NTSC, 525 lines are used with 480 operating visibly, which is known as 480i. Now, in case of PAL system, the line number of lines are nothing but 625 lines and out of the 625 line, 576 lines are visible and called as 576i. The next difference between NTSC and PAL is the data on DVD are read by DVD player and formatted for presentation for a particular TV slit. Either it may be NTSC or PAL. So a PAL digital video have aged over NTSC. The PAL having a feature of large resolution pixel. Now let's find out the basic, no, next difference between the NTSC and PAL system. Now we are now going to compare on the basis of certain parameter. First one is the development or the originating country. In case of NTSC it is developed in US and in case of PAL it is developed in UK that is Europe. Then the number of lines which are required for scanning is nothing but 525 as we discussed earlier and in case of PAL it is 625. Then the number of frames per second it uses 60 frames per second and in case of PAL it is 50 frames per second. Now the color information transmission in case of NTSC U and I or else we can say I and Q are used because when we look at the block diagram of NTSC encoder then with the help of color matrix with the help of suitable color matrix the RGB is get converted into I and Q color or we can say U or V color and in case of PAL U and V are used. Now next move to the subcarrier frequency, the NTSC having subcarrier frequency of 3.58 MHz whereas PAL system having a subcarrier frequency of 4.43 MHz. These values are precisely defined because, because of this precise value the easy recovery of the signal is possible at the receiver at the same time they provide the compatibility between the monochrome and the color system. Then the next type of comparison is based on the factor that is color burst. So in case of NTSC, 9 cycles of subcarrier frequencies are required and in case of PAL system, 10 cycles of subcarrier frequencies are required. Now let's move to the variant. In case of NTSC, 4.43 J and M variants are used and in case of PAL, depending upon the frequencies, there are different subcarrier. For example, B, D, G, H, I, N, M and N, C. Next is the cost. The cost wise NTSC is less costlier as compared to PAL system. Now studio mixing it is easily possible in case of NTSC system as compared to the PAL system. So this is what about the various difference or various parameters that we can be used to differentiate between the NTSC and PAL system. The countries which uses 60 Hz as a mainline frequency they basically goes for the NTSC system and the countries which uses 50 Hz as a main frequency then they go for the PAL system. 
So this is what about the difference between the com or the comparison between the NTSC and PAL system. So I hope you understand this topic. So thank you very much for watching this video. Stay tuned to Ikira. Subscribe Ikira. Thank you.